Greetings YouTube. My safety glasses are just too reflective so we're going to go without any glasses. Fortunately I don't have to see a whole lot while I'm doing this. Yesterday, enigmatically, commented about uh, my books. The fact that I should try some, non some fiction. And he mentioned that the Kindle might be a useful tool to me because I have a lot of books that I have yet to read. My to read pile is some 300 volumes. Possibly more, I haven't counted them in a while. I buy books all the time, mostly used. I very rarely ever pay more than like three or four dollars for a book, and most of them are in the dollar range. So I buy them when I find them, throw them on the shelf, and I get around to reading them eventually. But some of the books have been on there for like eight years waiting for me to get to them. But the Kindle isn't an, an item that I'm interested in, and I have a number of reasons why. First is the cost. The Kindle is too expensive. The item is what, $400, $300? That's too much. Not to mention, you have to then buy the books, put them on the higher drive, which drives up the eventual cost of the item anyway. It's also not particularly robust. If I have a book, and I drop the book, I pick the book up, I dust the book off, and I move on with my day. If you drop a Kindle, you've just lost your entire library, or at least access to your library at the moment. I'm hoping you have them backed up somewhere. Another thing is, is that so long as the sun's outside, I can read a book for free. A Kindle needs electricity. I haven't quite fathomed why they haven't put a solar panel on the back of a Kindle. Because with that size, it would hold a pretty good sized solar panel. It wouldn't keep it charged constantly, but it would help a lot towards making sure that the Kindle always had energy. But the biggest issue is the digital rights management. The DRM on the Kindle books is just incredible. If I buy a book, just your ordinary everyday book, I can then sell it, I can loan it to someone, I can donate it to a charity, which is what I often do with books after I finish reading them and if I don't want to keep them. I can't do that with an electronic book, because you don't actually own an electronic book. You lease it, at least the ones through Amazon that you're going to be putting on your Kindle. There are books out there which you can get, either, which are either public domain or actually purchased, but they're the exception, not the rule. Now, I don't want to lease a book. I want to own a book. I want that book to be mine. For me, purchasing something means that you end up with a physical object you own. I understand that there's sometimes it's preferable to have an electronic version of something. I'm even considering buying an electronic version of a gaming book that I already own just because having it on my computer at hand would be useful. Especially if I wanted to take quote text for an article or, 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 or while discussing something online. But I already own the book. So to, it would be a, an ancillary uh, situation. I know that there's a lot, number of companies that sell gaming books and they also sell print books. I'm of the opinion if you buy the print book you should get the electronic version for free. I mean what's it going to hurt them? You've already spent the money. They've already made a profit. The electronic version costs nothing to make a copy of. It is zero overhead. As soon as they pay off the people who wrote it, everything from that point on is profit. And frankly, electronic books cost far too much. Because remember, there's no printing. There's no overhead. You just push a button and a copy goes someplace else. So why do electronic books cost as much as they do? It doesn't make any sense to me. And the last issue about electronic books is that electronic books have no feel. They have no tactile sensation. There is no smell. I love books. I love the way they feel, they smell. I love the sound of them when you flip their pages. I have always been a lover of books. I've read every single day of my life since I was five years old. My mother tells me that I used to read the dictionary when I ran out of things in the house to read. I believe her, but you'd think I'd be a better speller, because I'm not a good speller. <laughs> but for me, a book is an experience. It is just a bunch of data. Now, having my entire library on a Kindle would be very handy. It's a whole lot lighter, take up a whole lot less space. But there are formats that can go out of style, and suddenly you might not be able to read them anymore. Or the person who owns the book may decide they're going to 
remotely disable your ability to read it, which can happen. So until they get all these little wrinkles ironed out, electronic books just simply aren't something I'm interested in. But it's a great idea, and I'm looking forward to a future date when it really does work.